if you're gonna watch only one video about how an Arduino, like this one, can control an ATEM switcher, this should be the one. Because here I summarize many of the functionalities that I have demonstrated and documented in other videos. Just to give you the context, an Arduino is a small microprocessor board like this one. This is an Arduino Ethernet, and it means that it has integrated an Ethernet port directly on the board. So uh, connecting this one to your ATEM switcher, uploading the relevant software that can control it, you can do all sorts of things. You can con basically control any aspect of your ATEM switcher. Now, um, in some other videos, uh, you have seen some of these products. This is the C50 control module, which will allow us to operate the switcher. And um, what else you see? You see a Smart View Duo from Blackmagic. You see some audio equipment. And on the back side, there is an ATEM switcher connected to eight camera and computer inputs. So what you see here in this panel is that it just basically does all the operations that I have documented in another video you will find here on YouTube. And um, I'll not go into details with that. But the real cool thing here is that this is not just a smart view duo, it's actually modded with a touch screen. So I can not only operate my switcher by touching the buttons down here, you can, I can also select an input by simply pressing here, you see, every time I select an input it goes on preview. And when I press preview it goes to program, if I press the current preview down here it goes to program, etc. So I could do the switching directly on the screen. That should be user friendly at least. But you can also do more than that. You can actually bring up one of these inputs in full screen. So just watch what I'm doing right now. Just hold my hand for a while and what you see now is that this input source, which is coming from a, a Mac, it has some uh, programming code here and it's now in full screen. Uh, if it was a camera like this, I could judge the focus for instance. And what you also see is obviously that I'm able to swipe between the camera input sources that um, are available on the switcher. So um, pretty cool. Uh, as soon as I get to the current input on program, it has a red border, so it's also connected with the tally functionality of the Smart View Duo. And um, if I go to any of these, I can just press it once, it goes to program, etc. And you can disable all this functionality by a down swipe. There is actually even another cool function in this one. I'll just show it to you. I bring up my input from the computer, I bring it on program like this, and then if I just hold for a while, you'll see that I have now a blue border around. The blue border indicates that I have VGA zoom enabled. Or in fact, VGA zoom is because I always use this with the computer input. But it's just a digital zoom. So imagine that on this input that I want to focus on these details over here, I can just take my finger and circle those. And you'll see on program that it just zooms in. You see it also here in the, in the background. So let's say that I want to see the, the down portion and nice and smooth, it moves to that part of the picture. It's using the digital video effects processor built into the ATEM switcher to do this and sending commands, calculating the ramp up and down curve, etc. And um, you can just go on like this, it goes to another portion, or you can disable it altogether by swiping across the screen. So now you're just back to normal operation. You can swipe around, swipe down, like that. Pretty cool.